Welcome viewers to Softidemy, a project control and engineering software academy. Our today's content is based on schedule percent complete and performance percent complete is not rolling up in Primavera P6 or WBS level. Uh, in simply your schedule percent complete and performance percent complete is showing zero. So before moving to my video, I will just go through my website. Uh, what we have available at website, you can type softidemy.com. Softidemy.com, you can go and the shop page. When you click on this shop page, you will find out a lot of tools and a lot of XZR file are uploaded there. So you can get this one, get through also. Also, you can visit us through our WhatsApp number. You can click this icon and you can connect with us through our WhatsApp uh, team. So this is also the tools are also available here. Also, the tools you can get from here. There are a lot of tools, so we'll discuss later. Also, a playlist have been attached how these tools will work on our YouTube channel. Thanks for, for watching Software Demi. You can also subscribe uh, if you like our videos. So let, let's go to the videos content. Main content was scheduled percent complete was not uh, updating at our WBS level or project level. So in the simple words, your project is not cost loaded and your project had, haven't been assigned with any cost. That's why uh, your schedule percent complete is not showing. But I will also show you some scenario. How can you assign a uh, cost? And there are also I will tell you that how to manage at professionally at your projects and what are the types, how can you manage that, that uh, issue and at your schedule. So this is our scale percent complete and how it's calculating. This is budget total cost and budget at completion. So both are different budget at completion. Uh, basically at the end uh, of the project, what, uh, what will be your budget at completion total budget cost? It's also based on that one. So this is our uh, schedule, which is not cost loaded and it's not updated. So always make sure that what is schedule percent complete schedule percent complete on an activity is a data date minus its uh, start date baseline start date and divided by baseline finish date minus baseline start date. So here the formula is written also you see basically it's the total uh, original duration. Uh, uh, it's basically uh, whatever, whatever that completion duration uh, divided by actual duration divided by at completion duration. Basically it's like similarly same like this one. This one. Also, uh, schedule percent complete minus is uh, all the, you know, uh, if there is a holidays, so it will deduct that one. Schedule percent complete formula have been written data date minus baseline start divided by baseline finish minus baseline start. So this one you can see A is our uh, start date, this one and also uh, this one is our data date. Data date is a date where you do run the schedule. For example, this is the data date 31 of August 2023 is our data date. And also similarly, B is a, a, it's a total duration. Also, you can say at completion duration, uh, original duration and a, B is like a baseline start and baseline finish. Basically, baseline start and basically uh, baseline finish is also your original duration or BL duration. So when you minus this one, uh, A divided by B, here you can see it's schedule percent complete and it's uh, calculating like this one. You can see it is changing here like 40, 50, 60, 70, whenever. The duration is change uh, as per data date, so it changes up to 100%. So at the WBS level, how it's calculating 80 is going to total here like this one 30 plus 40, 70 and also 30 plus 20, 50. So this one at WBS level cost is total like this one and how it's calculating uh, PV. Uh, PV is our planned value cost like this one when you uh, uh, updated this one 80. So also budget at total completion. So 270 when you divide by 80 divided by 270. So it will give you like whenever it will go to at the first. Uh, this one is 30 30 percent. So when it divided by total 150, so it will be also progress will be changed. So PV divided by BAC. So we, it will also give you a uh, schedule percent complete at WBS level. So WBS level calculated like this one. It's also showing when the data date changes. So WBS at WBS level schedule percent complete will be shown like PV divided by BAC. So this is uh, the similarly like you can see here. Yes. So let's go. Uh, let's go ahead to our schedule. Let's go ahead and practice something. So we don't have any cost loaded. So first of all, let's let's check here that rather it's uh, schedule percent complete will be shown at the top or not. Let's go here, maintain the schedule and create this schedule as a baseline. So let's uh, assign this one uh, copy of this schedule save this copy as a baseline. Let's click this one, close this one and let's go here in the sign baseline and let's assign here a baseline. This one project has a baseline uh, which have been uh, maintained currently and assign this one also primary as a baseline which we have attached currently and press OK. So let's uh, uh, run the schedule when you run schedule. So schedule percent completed performance percent 
complete performance percent complete is like it can be like physical unit and here you can see here physical unit and duration so whatever the activity type and whatever the activity category uh, lies in so it will be updated for example i updated an activity per physical percent complete so it will be updated here a performance percent complete if i change here to uh, duration percent so it will also uh, give you you like this one activity i change into duration so it will also update this one performance percent complete so basically it multiply with the performance percent complete will multiply with the uh, budget at completion and it will give you an earned value cost on each activity then it will go total at the wbs level and at wbs level then it will uh, the budget uh, ev divided by budget at completion then it will give you performance percent complete let's go uh, f9 and uh, let's go here and let's go here and i will run the schedule after five uh, yes this one is schedule percent complete so it will give you this activity 100 percent milestone activities 100 percent so this one you can see 35.6 to 35.62 because uh, you can see here uh, the data date have been moved this one blue line is now data date and this were an activity which have been uh, like uh, the similarly i have shown you this one which you have seen here uh, whatever the data date will move so it will give you a percent complete but at the wbs level uh, still there is no progress at wbs level no schedule percent complete even performance percent complete will be zero if i even update the activity for example i update this activity this project management deliverable like this is 35 percent and i always uh, say that this is also uh, 40 percent so it will not update here and the wbs level if i type here 40 percent so performance percent complete as i have told you that if it's physical percent complete i, I type here 40 percent so it will be shown here performance percent complete as a 40 percent also if i change here as a duration percent complete and change it to like 40 percent also similarly so it will be also later the same as a 40 percent here or 30 percent whatever i will write a type uh, write any anything here so it will be shown here in the in the performance percent complete so it's crystal clear that whenever we will assign here a cost then it will show at the wbs level sir as i have shown you here that uh, when we assign a cost so it, it go on the total and the top and then that total that bsc or whatever the total it divided by bpv that pv what is pv this one is planned value cost it go to total at the top for example this level it will be total at the top and also earned value cost it will be also total at the top and then pv that planned value cost will be divided by budget at completion then it will give you that schedule percent complete or uh, earned value cost divided by budget completion it will give you performance percent complete so this is uh, what the concept it is so let's go here and uh, we will see here and uh, uh, let's remove the uh, okay let's let's go here and assign the baseline uh, a cost to this project i will just go here import uh, and import directly go to i will go here in the import next i will import the cost in it this will I will go here in the desktop and I will find out the cost. I will assign the cost. So this one we have already uh, some cost there in the in this project. So this one file was already there. I have just moved the file. So let's here. So let's. Uh, it's showing that uh, we have a different uh, user preferences. Okay, let's change it here and don't apply this one because it is crucial to handle this one let's select file next so let's go here and we'll select the file let's go file is available here the costs have been loaded in this project you can see here at the top but still the uh, schedule percent complete will be not shown here let's go here and remove the baseline because you know uh, i have told you that bsc is very important bsc is not showing because we have assigned a project uh, having no cost in the baseline that's why bsc is not showing let's remove here and let's go here remove this one and also remove this one and this one also remove this one press ok when i remove this one you will see here bsc have been shown currently now and let's go here if you have assigned a baseline and we don't have any uh, cost so what you can do you just go here and restore that one also there is a process you can restore and you can import the uh, also uh, you can you can say here that uh, also I, I think so you know this one and restore that one and also uh, upload the cost similarly same i have uploaded the cost here so i will just not go uh, repeatedly so you can also assign as a convert another project uh, from a new baseline after assigning that one so that assign that project as a baseline 
so i will just make same uh, same copy and i will use uh, uh, this one uh, the same similar so i will not uh, just go through in the detail uh, that will be uh, taking too much okay let's go here and let's assign this one project as a baseline now i have assigned the baseline now i will go here assign the cost loaded baseline so it's important the cost the, the cost loaded baseline to have same cost loaded baseline to update schedule if the cost is uh, 3.6 million so now bsc and but at a total completion have same cost and now if i run the schedule from here to ahead let's go here to one week or two week ahead now when i schedule this one let's see here you can see plan value cost and here you can see schedule percent complete is whatever schedule so why still at the uh, at the project deliverables it's not showing any progress because there is no cost there is no bac assigned here so where it's assigned like there it's assigned let's find out where it's assigned uh, wherever the cost is assigned so you will see here there is bac uh, bac budget completion is uh, here and also you can see here uh, its planned value cost is shown so that's why 100% uh, 10% uh, complete and it's rolling up here at a wbs level 6.7 also 5.38 also so you can also uh, check here as also we'll just go here and at the level 1 or 2 so you can also see here there is 1.49 for scale percent complete and also you, if you can uh, if you want you can move ahead like uh, if i want to move like one week more ahead so you will see here percentage is also complete uh, change is 0.9 also similarly uh, if you update a progress here like in zone 1 i update here progress 6.8 so let's go here and if i update so scale percent complete will be also similarly updated so let's say here i uh, just update this progress up to 100% so you will see 6.61% and also performance percent complete is also updated here wbs level so wbs level uh, there is it's important also if you divide this one uh, and value cost divided by budget completion it will give you 0.48 so the question is if you change here the cost for example if i change here the cost uh, of an activity for example i change here and i i will add here a zero extra zero so you will see here yes uh, like this activity is having achieved the zero we will add here zero okay if i add here zero the cost have been increased you can see here 3.6 here and 3.6 i will add here three zeros so let's see here the cost is 5.5 this 3.6 the schedule percent completed performance percent complete is same because there is no impact of uh, total cost change if in you have changed in your updated schedule so it's important your budget at completion what is the budget at completion cost as i told you simply that whatever the baseline you have assigned should uh, the cost is matters in in that stage so if you are updating any total budget cost in your updated schedule it doesn't it does not matter so uh, please remember so let's go if you don't have any cost and how you will manage in the project let's go to uh, that practical let's uh, we have a schedule here uh, this one we have just uh, exported this one we the schedule we don't have any cost let's open that schedule this one schedule don't have any cost so how to you can manage this one and just go here add a resource and just assign any resource which you have here in the all projects filter by all projects so i will assign this project as a resource i have just clicked this one and now you can see here total budget costs have been shown so uh, why this cost have been shown because in this one uh, resource one there uh, the unit price is uh, assigned with one so just you have to create one uh, resource uh, price as a one and you have to assign that one to all activities so all activity will be assigned with the similarly one resource uh, one hour uh, it will be assigned with one i think so uh, it will multiply by eight so whatever the duration it will multiply by eight each activity for example this one activity uh, there is an activity like here is 309 so how things 309 is came up like uh, i think so uh, 309 divided by uh, 1 its uh, original duration is like we can check here 14 days let's check here divided by 14 so i uh, had yeah, 22 so maybe it's, this project have been assigned with 22 hours 
calendar so you can also correct, uh, cross check so 22 hours have been multiplied with each activity uh, duration so you can also cross check on each activity so you can you got here total hours 60 and 837 so you can also assign the weights to the project so the basically uh, what you have to assign whatever the labor units you have assigned at your project whatever the labor unit you have assigned you have to assign their cost as a one so uh, the your labor units will be also equivalent to your budget to total cost also after that one you have to assign uh, that one the same schedule as a baseline then you can do the similar and same process ahead so this is our today's content how can you roll up from performance per person complete uh, and schedule person complete at the wbs level and uh, how it's calculated at wbs level or at project uh, how you, uh, how you can change it from zero to 100 or whatever uh, you achieve the progress at the project so you have you are also understand that how schedule person complete is calculated schedule person complete is calculated on the base of data date minus uh, baseline start and also performance person complete are three types physical duration unit so this is our today's content thanks for watching software demo you can comment in the videos below and also you can write us email and you can also contact us through whatsapp number see you in the next video